Okay, uh, this is my first ever video. Boulder Creek Golf Club and Event Center in Streetsboro, Ohio. This is Itching to Scratch, where I am itching to scratch. So here we go. We started on the back. This is hole 10. And I just, oof. Topped her. Worm burned over the lake. I bet ya. Yeah. And again, same thing. These uh, shot tracers are not super accurate, but ah, here's a three wood that I finally hit well. And uh, I was pretty far out on this one and I pulled it just left of the flag, probably 240. Uh, here I am chipping up onto the green. Huzzah. And I would not make that up the hill putt. Sorry to jump the gun on you, but there you have it. There you have it. I ran it by, but luckily made this one coming in, which is not always a gimme for me. So, opened with a six with two putts. Not great. All right, here we go. This is a hard dog leg right. You cannot cut the corner due to the water, and there's pretty high trees on the right. And again, man, I just flubbed it. It was a shank, and then pretty good recovery, nine iron. I'm just trying to get right where I put that yellow arrow. So I put it right where I wanted to and uh, left myself 125, I think, in and put a wedge about 20 feet short. Unfortunately, I did not get a video of this. Again, it's my first time ever ever doing this and tried to do it from the cart and must have had it on um, picture because here's a lovely picture of me. I'm not that close. That looks close, but it's about 20 feet uphill. I missed that putt coming uphill and then made the comebacker, so five and two. Here's a par three downhill, 208 yards, and I hit a really good five iron in. Really happy with this shot. I left myself about 12 feet, a little right to left, or so I thought. Let's see, I don't remember. Yeah, a little right to left, and it just did not go as much as I hoped, or as early as I hoped. But still, back on track here with a three. Doing all right on that hole. Let's see if I can get some momentum going. Hole 13, par four, and I roped one. This was one of my better drives, get some confidence back. I didn't hit it super far. It was uphill, and then I just let one leak out right. I blocked it, and again, the shot tracer isn't super right. I, it, it moved a little right also, and you'll see the shot tracer moving. The cameraman had a little move to him. Hit a really good chip up here, uh, played the slope nicely, came down. I was really happy with that chip. And then I was really unhappy with that putt. Just didn't get it high enough. Those left to right breakers, you know, you got to really start them out. And my, my eye doesn't see them well. Most righties don't. So, And I lost it. Uh, this was just a slice, block slice. Not good at all. Took a drop. Uh, hit an okay recovery up onto the front of the green, but left myself just a massive amount of space to come. That was that was 40 feet uphill. And uh, I had it going right to left, but now that I'm looking at it, I don't see how I could have thought that because it moved right on me. So this to, uh, to save a pretty horrible lag. And I didn't. So, ooh, let's see that again in super slow-mo. Goof. All right. So three putt on the card is never fun. Got a sixer with a three putt uh, with an out of bounds drop shot there. And here's what we're looking overall. I think uh, one, two, three, four, five over through five. On to hole 15. Straight away. Uh, but I could not take driver on this, or at least I didn't want to. It's pretty narrow, as you'll see up here. So I took a three wood and hit a really good one. So above that bunker, see, is where my drive would have been landed and just not enough space there. So I hit a three wood and a really good wedge up um, and the ball embedded in the grass there in the green. So I popped it out and uh, this is for bird. Probably 12 feet again, maybe 14. And oh, it just never came down. Tap in for par. Five over through six. All right, if I can get some momentum going here, you'll see um, I don't. Topped it again, cold type. You see, I destroyed the ground in front there. And then hit a hybrid recovery. Pretty good, but I went through the fairway. And you'll see a hill up there. And I am right on the side of that hill. The ball's 
way above my feet, and I shank her. I shank her. Into the woods, and I have no shot out of here. Uh, you'll see there's just a bunch of trees here to the right. So I'm just chipping back into play, and I chipped too far <laughs> through the fairway, and I left myself not a great leave. But that's all right. I had an actually pretty good chip here from the lie that I was in, and uh, hoping, to, hoping to drain this bad Larry, which I do not. Those guys had gone before me, and there was a lot of break on their putts, and I don't know if I pushed it, but mine did not come down. So, so I'm struggling. On to 17, par three, down hit, downhill. Um, I took like a three quarter nine here because it was so far downhill, and I just I shouldn't have three quartered it. I should give it a little more juice. In the trap on the front here and took a 60 degree uh -oh, uh -oh. and it in bounced water. in the sand and bladed it right into the water here you can see took a drop on the other side there and flopped that red line uh, back onto the green and i drain a 20 footer to save my double bogey there could have been a lot worse on that hole 18 par 5 pretty straight away i pulled it left um not great. I haven't. I did not drive the ball well on this nine, but I was hitting pretty good three woods um, for my recovery there. So I put it right where I need to be on a par five. I'm within a hundred, and I yank it left. I'm doing that a lot with my wedges. I do it a lot with my wedges, anyways. Uh, that shot tracer is not accurate. It was actually almost pin high there on the left. Flubbed it right up onto the green there and i would two putt from there which i did not record unfortunately so here you go a uh, horrible round for me i've never played this course but i should not be shooting a 47 on nine um but you see that stretch there double triple double and just i mean only two pars no birdies not great all around uh but i had a lot of fun and uh you know that's what i always say <laughs> when I have one of these rounds. I did have fun though, and this is a beautiful course. Um, I'll be posting my back half, which is actually the front, um, here in a few days. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it.